We have some shops near the military that have been posting V and what that is about. We also have V fighting back with a bat on a separate video and what that's about. And of course, we need to get into some stuff posted on IG. Some people having some opinions on that. So hey, Dom Lee, this is Dave Desai. Let's get into it. So there's been a lot of speculation that has been up in the air and it's quite interesting to see how divided people are over who the members might be in a relationship with and especially which member they're in a relationship with. On the other hand, there are people who think that Jimin and JK are in a relationship and on the other half, there is people who think that V and JK are in a relationship and they often butt heads with each other. And it's interesting because a lot of the evidence that I see tend to be very weak evidence. If it was very solid evidence that I could definitely get behind it. Now don't get me wrong, there are definitely more solid evidence or speculation videos that I've seen where I believe it could be real. Like it makes sense that it could be real and then at the same time it makes sense that it could be fake. So you can stand on either side of that and those moments in which I would consider them to be more solid. However, there are people who are just under this impression that if V or JK were to post each other on their social media platforms, for example, like V has several pictures of him and JK on his Instagram, people think that this is a sign of them being in a relationship as if the idea of them being friends would not mean that they would post each other, as if the idea of them being in the same band would not allow them to have some photos together. Like they would obviously have several pictures together and that would just be natural whether they were romantically together or not. So while they could be romantically together even because of this, like it's totally possible, but these pieces of evidence or speculation or whatever doesn't really prove it. Also, if you know anything about dating in 2024, even if two people are sleeping with each other, they may not be dating each other. So let alone photos are definitely going to be weaker pieces of evidence. And I know I'll get this comment, so I definitely want to address it. There are so many people online that would probably say, oh, well, our BTS boys wouldn't participate in hookup culture or the dating culture that's part of 2024 anyway. So them being seen like this could imply a romantic relationship because they're not like how everyone is nowadays. And the thing is, that's just very hard to do nowadays. Maybe one of the members isn't like that, but it would be quite difficult for all seven to be completely different from how society is nowadays. It's very difficult to live in hookup culture in 2024 and still remain true to your old self. Now, of course, people have done it. I've done it. I have not participated in hookup culture. I have not done any of that and I absolutely despise it. But the thing is every person I've been in a relationship with or dated has done it. So then it kind of pushes you or encourages you to participate in it as well. Otherwise you get hurt. And to say that BTS or any person is above this or would not be affected by this is very unrealistic and living in a different world than the rest of us because they are human and they are also going to be affected by the same human things. There's a lot of cute moments to remember the boys by and there's a lot of moments that we have video evidence for that I think is a lot more fun. It should definitely be more emphasized and talked about. One of them was a moment not too long ago where V was holding a bat and Jin was lying flat and belly down on a table and this was hilarious and this was back during their debut earlier days. Apparently I think it was Jimin that hit V in the stomach like the day before or something like that and V was upset but for some reason it was being taken out on Jin. V then very quickly without warning took the bat and hit Jin on the butt. And then you can hear from that that the bat didn't really sound like it was a metal one or a wooden one. So like probably didn't really hurt but probably just took Jin off guard when he got hit in the butt with it. This was an interesting time period for the boys because this was around the time where I think V rightfully had a lot of pent up aggression. Life is interesting in a way where if you work really hard sometimes you can get to where you want to be and of course you have to work hard in the correct way. If you're working really hard for 10 years pursuing music or pursuing something and it's not going anywhere then you might be doing something wrong and you should probably try a different method of music let's say. Like either get professional help or do something different from what you're doing. Don't give up. Just change what you're doing. Same goes if you're trying for 10 years to be a nurse or a lawyer and you haven't been able to pass those exams then you should try a different way to pass those exams right and it's pretty hard if you do something the right way for 10 years to not at least see some mediocre success at it. With that said of course the boys were training for a really long time at this point when they debuted and V was often forgotten and not addressed in many ways and probably felt like the underdog within the group and there was a lot of aggression not at the boys but maybe projected to the boys and this was a moment in which he could kind of let loose and take his aggression out on the boys. Of course it's probably not true that he wanted to take anything out on the boys. Now of course 
I talk about how life takes you in certain directions because now he's definitely not considered one of the underrated members of the group. He is very much, I would say, where he needs to be with his talents and I would say he's one of the more appreciated members within the community. He gets a lot of love, his music gets a lot of streams, people love to see him in magazines and fashion shows, so he definitely gets a lot of attention now and I think it's interesting because the way the universe can work sometimes is the ones who deserve it the most will have to work the hardest to get it. This isn't to say that the members don't deserve it, but he definitely deserves it as well. And I think the other members definitely got a little bit more respect in the beginning than he did, even though the group as a whole didn't really get that much respect, but you know what I mean. But if you do want to see some huge BTS moments and fun moments where the boys interact, ship moments even, and just kind of me finding them cute or whatever, then make sure you check out the Patreons. I have so many videos over there. There's over 3,000 videos, not just of BTS, but other groups as well. And if you're interested in joining and fangirling over those videos and moments, then make sure you check it out. It's at the top of the description. Currently, there's a $1.95 tier and it has limited spots, but if you get access to that, you'll have access to all of the videos. So if you're interested, I do hope to see you there. The other crazy thing that I was seeing was a moment in which people were talking about some photos that were hung up on a wall by the camp. I think this was a coffee shop or some sort of restaurant, but part of the theme of the restaurant, maybe the lore of it, is that there's a photo area in which everyone can take photos and it's a Polaroid that's stuck up on a wall or something. I don't know if everyone's photos that gets taken just ends up on the wall for just people who are obviously like V and they prefer to show that on their wall because he's a celebrity. However, people were shocked to see that when people went to go to this restaurant or coffee shop, they noticed those photos there and immediately were happy to see V because these photos were not posted publicly. And so you can kind of see that he seems very happy and he seems well adjusted and it seems like he made a lot of friends. Of course, that's one of the things that people were the most concerned about when V was in the military was like just if he was going to stand out too much because he's so famous that he would not fit in. Of course, that doesn't seem to be an issue. Now, there were also some people who were saying that it seems like V could potentially be in a relationship with some of these soldiers or people. And there's a lot of people who believe that he's LGBT. And of course, if they do believe that he's not dating JK, then he must be dating one of the soldiers that we see here. Now, is this even a possibility? Of course, but is it likely? Probably not. Extremely messy for him to date someone in the military, especially a soldier. First off, he is not only higher rank in life, like in general, like even outside the military, he would have authority and power over these people. But he is higher rank in the military, so it would be extremely inappropriate for him to date a soldier. Now, the people who believe that he would be in a relationship with a soldier or any other person tends to side that he is this like pure, perfect soul that is not like everyone else. And so if he is perfect and a pure soul, he would definitely know the risks and the bad side of potentially dating someone that he would have a power complex over. So this is the stuff that I find to be a bit contradictory is when people in the community say that they think that the boys are so good or that they're kind people or that they're not like everyone else, but then would also ship them and say that they would date like everyday non-celebrities because it would be very difficult for them to do that. A non-celebrity wouldn't really understand the workload, let's say, that a celebrity gets. They wouldn't really understand how often the celebrity has to travel and not really be home sometimes months at a time. And keep in mind, that's something that's difficult even when celebrities are dating other celebrities. So it'd be extremely difficult if it's with someone who doesn't really understand the industry, who maybe isn't even as passionate about being successful and famous and having a really good music career. But above all of that, you ideally don't wanna date someone who has authority and power over you because that's not a relationship or at least that's not an equal one. You're gonna feel like you're walking on eggshells all the time if you're the one that's on the lower end of that. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks to the comment right here. Love you. Bye.